Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. Today I'm like rapper kind of style. You, you. So, look, I have a question for you. The question is, what do you want? I could say, what the, you know, do you want? I'm not going to swear on this video because some young people might be watching it. But really, it's, it's like it's an ability to check in and go like, what are my needs? What are my desires? What are the things that I want in life? So, here is the thing, it is that if you don't know what you want, you'll probably end up somewhere else. It's like, when you don't know where you are going, and you didn't check in to actually realize what is my instinct, what is my destiny telling me, what are the choices that I need to make to actually be happy, fulfilled, to have a great body, to be optimized. So, the question for you today is like, what do you want? Okay, it's a practice in the personal development field, in the coaching, in the spiritual field. It's like, try to identify and feel inside what are the, those things that make you happy? What are those things that you need to have in your existence to have you feel fulfilled? And so, take a white page right now. Yes, you can take a white page right now and start writing things that represent your needs and your wants. And then... What you're going to do, once you have a list of maybe five to ten things, then you start orienting your day and your life around those wants. It's a very simple thing. You have to complement that with some form of a reality check, right? For instance, if you say, I want to go to the moon, uh, you know, the chance that it happens tomorrow in your lifetime might be relatively slim because we don't have the tools and the technology yet full-on developed to send you there. But, you know, when it comes to small, sh smaller things, you know, like where do you live, for instance, where the, the city you are in or the country you are in, the kind of job you are involved in, to the people you are seeing, what you are eating, how you are spending your day, the books that you are reading, the music that you are listening to. It's like all those can be really conscious choices, right? And so you have the power to design your existence according to those wants. And those wants are hints. You have to give yourself the permission, you know, and realize that it's actually a power that I'm allowed to use. I'm allowed to want things. I don't have to feel ashamed. I don't have the feeling, I don't have to have the feeling that I'm being selfish by wanting things. It's your human right. So use those wants. And if those wants are all geared towards, you know, manifesting material power and physical wealth, well, that's where your wants are, and that represents your level of evolution right now. But maybe you have wants which go maybe a little bit deeper than that. Like, I want to figure out who I am. I want to understand what happens in my mind when I'm having a positive thought. I want to travel the world. I want to contribute. I want to help people. I want to have a positive impact on the planet and humankind. You know, all those are wants, and they are a little bit less egoic wants than I want a big bank account with a million dollars on it, okay? So, depending on the wants that you are going to focus on, you are going to get more help and more fluid f flow and more positive energy, you know, that depends on, on your own choice. But the, the first place to start is to realize that you have the right to express that, and then start taking steps in alignment with those wants and those needs. And you will notice that the moment more people are doing that around you, it's massively empowering for everybody. Do you, do you want to spend time with people who, when you ask them, you go to them and you go like, hey, what do you want to do today? And they go like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I want. It's like there is something which is ungrounded, ungrounded and disempowering in an answer like this one. If somebody comes to you and you start uh, hanging out with his friend and they go like, you know what I want to do? I want to launch a business this year. I want to, uh, to go and travel to Nepal and I have these people that I want to see again, bring them again in my life and I've got something there, a project that I've been working on with some friends and uh, I definitely want to have a really positive impact in the, the lives of the people around me. You know, this is exciting. There is motivation. There is drive. And uh, these uh, inner ambitions... You cannot access them if you don't dare to voice and express what is in your field. What is, it, what is the core of your being? What is it that you want to manifest? 
So most, many, many people will hold back from expressing their wants because they don't want to be disappointed or they don't dare to actually tune into their own power of manifestation. So they hold back on expressing this once because they go like, oh my God, this is, this is lots of power. Because once I set up an intention, God knows what's going to happen. Maybe I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to unleash a whole stream of energy and manifestation that is going to take me my whole life to a whole new level. Once you see that power, once you realize how much influence you have over the quality of your life, you go, it's mind-blowing. It's like you can really design your life according to what your needs are. Okay? That's a good topic to keep in mind. What do you want? Find out. And get back to me. Tell me what you discover. I'll see you soon.